This weekend is the annual Conservative Political Action Conference, this year being held in National Harbor, Maryland, and it looks an awful lot like previous years' conferences, populated by guests and speakers from the extreme right and featuring speeches full of some of the most ridiculous hyperbole anyone has ever heard. It's like a Fox News bender without all the pretty blonde anchors. Dot, but along with the conservatives at CPAC, there have to be those there covering the event, and for some, it's almost a shortest straw type of endeavor, they're guaranteed to be harassed, if anyone knows they're from the liberal media, and even Moreso in the age of fake news as decreed by Donald Trump. One faithful reporter who covers literally everything that Trump does, Daniel Dale of the Toronto Star. By all accounts, Trump spoke at CPAC today for the longest time since he actually began running for president in 2015. And boy, did the president have a lot to say. He went through his greatest hits about trade with China, global warming being a hoax, a demonstration of his inability to understand how tariffs work, some made-up stories and statistics about the U.S.-Mexico border, and of course fake news, but it was when he got to the Russia probe that his desperation really started to show. Unfortunately, you put the wrong people in a couple of positions and they leave people for a long time that shouldn't be there and all of a sudden, they're trying to take you out with bullshit, okay? With bullshit. Now Robert Mueller never received a vote and neither did the person that appointed him and as you know, the attorney general says I'm gonna recuse myself. Gonna recuse. And I said, why the hell didn't he tell me that before I put him in? The southern accent with which Trump mocked former Attorney General Jeff Sessions was icing on the cake for a speech that was truly indicative of a man who is desperate to get out from under the scrutiny of the special counsel 